it's 50 degrees New Year's Eve Northeast Ohio I get to check the bees Welcome to Castle Hive. So what we're doing today, we got an odd day in Ohio. So Northeast Ohio, uh, December 31st, 2021. It is 50 degrees and it is 11 o'clock in the morning. So perfect chance that I can come over, check in my Vivaldi boards, just see how things look. Um, I'm gonna also try and get the scope so get some footage there and just peek in on the hives here. So um, let's get into this hive here. I mean, I'm so excited to check this out. Let's get on over here. All right, y'all, let's see. Now this is the main castle hive. So um, this hive body here is the very first hive I ever bought. So five years ago, oh, look at that. Looking good. Plenty of sugar up in here. There's some girls here. I even saw some girls flying out of the front there. So, looks great, looks great. Wow, no need to check anything else on this. Um, letting them go. Wow, look at that. So awesome, I'm gonna cover it up, cover it up. The burlap looks good. Typically what I do when I check these Vivaldi boards is I'll feel the top. And just to check for moisture, that's it. Um, this hive here is doing good. So uh, let's get on over to Buckingham and see what Buckingham shows us. All right, y'all. Let's see what Buckingham shows us. Now this hive, uh, the bees were kind of low. Um, they weren't as high as the others and that's fine. All right, still some sugar in here. couple girls in there let's see got my scope let's see if we can spot anyone and again the only reason why I'm doing this is it's 50 degrees so let's see Oh, geez. Wow. Look at that right there, everybody. Look at that. That is a beautiful sight right there. You know, and you see the girls. They're just doing their thing down there. So awesome. Those that watch also, you'll know I love my gadgets. <laughs> That's awesome. So Buckingham is, is looking good. So let me get this uh, Vivaldi here back together. I did see that um, they're in the winter patty as well. So I've got winter patties on all of the hives. Uh, this is the first winter where I'm really trying to supplement all of my hives through the winter. I want to enter into the spring um, with, you know, as large of clusters as what I can. And then in the springtime, when we get close into March, uh, I'm going to switch over those winter patties into like a protein patty. And that way, you know, my queen, she can sense that and get that extra protein coming in. And, you know, she can start laying eggs and they can brood out, I'm, I'm hoping, super early this next year. So crossing my fingers on that. So let me get, uh, here we go. Let's get the burlap back on this and get this closed up. Um, but normally, you know, normally I would not do this because this time of year in Ohio, 
it, it's normally not this warm. Um, this is just unseasonably warm uh, for, you know, this time of year in Ohio. So, but I'm taking advantage of it. And, you know, one thing that you have to do also is, you know, with it being this warm, just make sure that they don't starve out. Um, you know, that increased activity means they're going to be consuming more stores than what they regularly would. If it was, you know, 10 degrees right now, they'd be tightly clustered up and not moving around. There's even a couple that I've seen flying, so they're burning up that energy, burning those stores faster. So let's get over to the horizontal hive here and see if we can spot anything there. Um, curious on how that does through this winter, so let's get on over to the Helm's Deep horizontal hive. We got a couple dead girls up in here. The cluster in this hive was right in about here. Um, so let me see. Let me see if I can spot where that uh, cluster is. That right there is not a good sign. That's not what I want to see right there. Let's go to the front. Well, let's hope and pray. That's not looking good. Not looking good here. Let me go get a hive tool. She's gone. I can see right here, there's just a little teeny cluster. Yeah, right there's the queen. Man, this is always a bummer when this happens. set her there. I'm going to have to come back and clean this. Um, uh, the reality of beekeeping right here, everybody. Reality of beekeeping. You work all year and you still lose some. Um, it's my first year with these style hives, uh, so I don't know because uh, we also lost my mom, so I don't know if there is any type of design that I need to tweak. Um, but such a bummer. Uh, let me set her off to the side. Man, well, that's a queen bee right there. It's my dot that I put on her. Well... This right here is why I show everything. This right here is why I show everything. Because it's just not always honey flowing out of the hive. Um, but, you know, we're, we're plugging along here, Castle Hives. Let's get on and check the bee box, the poly hive, and the bee castle also. Um, I've already looked at the farmer's hive, so let's take a peek at that real quick. Everybody, that farmer's hive is doing great. Um, let's see what's in the top of this. <laughs> well, there's some girls in there. There's still sugar. A couple dead girls up in here. Um, gosh. I do not want to crack this. 
Um, I see girls right there. <clears throat> and I saw girls flying from the bottom there. Let me get my phone out and let's check the Govi sensor. Um, let's see how that looks. Polly, let's check it. Let's check it. So right now, the poly hive is just shy of 60 degrees. So I know there's warmth in here. Um, I know there's bees in here. Uh, there were some coming out of the um, entrance there. Uh, I don't see any moisture in here. I'm closing this up. There's actually a bee right there dragging a body. So that's good. You know, a sign of a good, healthy colony in the wintertime here, they're, they'll perform that morgue duty. You know, as these bees die, and they will throughout the winter, there will be bees that will fly those off to get them away from the hive. Um, you know, you don't want uh, disease. Um, plus, you know, you don't want to just drop them out front because you don't want pests, you know, skunks or anything like that to come around the hive. So um, they do a great job at that. So uh, I'm not going to do anything else with this polyhive here. Um, I, you know, I saw enough for right now. Um, plenty of stores in there. So I tell you, let me do one other thing. <clears throat> Let's see here. Yeah, yeah. I tell you, weight-wise, it could be a little heavier. Um, we're probably 40 or so pounds, I would think. So might be a little light, then that's why this warm winter kind of worries people. Um, but I'll just keep an eye and I'll keep them supplemented. Um, if we get really nice days, you know, I'll, I'll get some feed out and uh, I'll open feed my colony. So let's get over and check on the bee castle here and uh, see what that one shows us. Okay, now this is a 10 frame box. Holy Moses. Yeah, we got girls in there. Let me go get the sugar. Nice size population here. Let me move you guys closer. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. So what I'm gonna do here is just get some dry sugar. And Just gently pour that in. That way they have extra sugar in there because they have already consumed. So, you know, these warm days like this, that's the benefit right now is that, you know, I can, well, I, I don't have to be as speedy. If it was 10 degrees outside right now, you know, um, I'd be a lot faster. Okay, got some sugar in there. So, you know, so far here, what I've seen this winter, um, all of my Langstroth hives are uh, doing fine. Um, the horizontal hives, they didn't make it. Don't know why. Um, I was worried about that hive though, so. Oh, well, what can you do? That's beekeeping. Um, but, you know, the update here, all of my Langstroth hives, like I said, are doing good. Um, there's five now. You know, we went into the winter with six. We had the horizontal hive. Uh, it has not, you know, made it through December. Um, that's okay, though. When we hit the spring, and my plan, like I said, I want to supplement. And when I split, I can take the five hives that I have now look at the clusters and when they start ramping up in the spring i can double that out and i'll be at my 10. now if we have strong ones then i might be able to go even further than that but 10 is going to be my number and that's what i've said that's kind of you know when we spoke about this the other night on a live stream um 10 hives at least for me being the backyard beekeeper is my spot that uh 
you know, doesn't really interfere with, you know, whatever else, you know, whatever other work that I need to do. Um, but, you know, hopefully you all enjoyed this little update here, uh, you know, going into 2022 now, you know, we still have bees at Castle Hive. So if you all like beekeeping, I appreciate it. Hit that thumbs up down there. Um, you know, follow along as well. So we are approaching 2,000 subscribers on the channel. That is crazy. So I want to thank every one of you. Um, hopefully everybody had a great New Year's Eve. And we'll see you on the next update.